This is my new computer, Raspberry Pi 400. You're probably thinking it's just like a keyboard. Well, if you turn it around, inside here is a Raspberry Pi, and a Raspberry Pi is about this big. Raspberry Pi 4, 400. But this Raspberry Pi has a quad core processor. And that's like really fast this is my old computer is very cheap one and it's super super duper slow so I'm glad I got this if you like you can look through the holes of the fans if, and you could like see stuff but you probably can't because of the quality of this camera if I turn it around Got the Raspberry Pi logo, which is like the Raspberry Pi start button, like a Windows start button on this. But yeah, the Raspberry Pi 400 comes with like everything you need. But if you buy like an ordinary Raspberry Pi, then it doesn't come with all this stuff. This is like one of the most expensive Raspberry Pis. It comes with a micro HDMI. And at the other end, a normal HDMI, so you can connect it to a monitor, like this one I have right here. Power cable, so it has power, to, so you plug it in. The Raspberry Pi logo there. And on the other side, it's a USB Type-C cable, which is like really powerful. I don't think I've seen any cables like this. I didn't even know you use these on Raspberry Pis, but yeah. If you put it up here, there's two, there is three USB ports. There is a LAN cable to connect with wired internet. There is two HDM, micro HDMIs, so you can connect it to your monitor. Memory card slot, so you can put your memory in and this part over here is so you can connect modules which is going to be very helpful because you can get like loads of different raspberry pi modules like a camera module and like loads of different things so this is useful if you want to do that and i think i'm i i might get some in the future you can see them all like online and yeah that's the raspberry pi keyboard right now i'm gonna <laughs> Install Raspberry Pi iOS because I accidentally deleted it, but it's very easy to do that. So onto the computer, I put its um, memory card slot into it, and right, we just need to go to the Raspberry Pi Imager. You can get download this off the internet. Just search Raspberry Pi in Imager, and it'd probably come up with it. Okay. Then when you launch it when it launches sorry if my computer if this is slow because this is like the slowest computer ever there we go then you click choose sd card i'm just gonna click this one here then you click choose os this you can use like any os you can even use ubuntu you can use the normal raspberry pi os or you can click other and download like an image file so you can use like 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 a windows 95 operating system because you can download those images on the internet but i'm just gonna click raspberry pi os no not 32 bit go back raspberry pi raspberry pi full then you click write and then it writes it then once it's done it would verify it then it tell you can take your memory card out so you take it out and then plug it into your computer hook it all to the stuff and then you technically got raspberry pi running but i'm not gonna just let you sit rating here because i know now i know the steps of the next bit so let's just do a summary take out the memory card of this put it into here download the imager from the internet then click the operating system and select the sd card then click write and then when it's 
finished, verify it, and then you take the memory card out, put it back into the Raspberry Pi, pickle, which is right here, make sure you put it the right way. So when you put it in, make sure that the label is facing upwards. And there's some, and if you get a Raspberry Pi 400 with me, you get a Raspberry Pi mouse with it, which is actually one of the best mouses that I've ever used. It feels really nice. Looks very clean as well. And it also comes with a beginner's guide for the Raspberry Pi so you can learn and has some tips of learning some coding languages and how to use the modules and stuff, how to install the operating systems. It's really good. Plus you don't have to but get a Raspberry, <laughs> you don't have to get a Raspberry Pi 400. You can get like a Raspberry Pi 4, it'd be a little bit, it'd be cheaper, but because it wouldn't come up with all this stuff, you'd have to get your own USB keyboard and your own USB mouse. Plus this, this, this book isn't just like, only can get with um, the Raspberry Pi 400. No, you can get this like anywhere. It's just like a normal book and it's official, officially, made by Raspberry Pi. And this one's updated for Raspberry Pi 400. And yeah, that's basically it.